Hello and welcome to Creek Watch. I'm Sid and this is Reed and today we're going to teach you how to collect an invertebrate sample. So invertebrates are living things in our creeks that do not have a backbone but typically a hard outer shell. We can find them under all the rocks here in the creek. They're super important components of our ecosystems. They help cycle nutrients back into the system and provide food for other organisms. We classify them into three categories. Yeah, so they can be classified as pollution tolerant, moderately pollution tolerant, or pollution sensitive. And those are the ones that we're most interested today. And why are they the most important? Yeah, so the, the ones that are most important, they, they kind of act as an indicator species. Um, they can be uh, the telltale sign that uh, your, your ecosystem is healthy or not. And uh, the ones we'd be look most interested in today are the mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies. So to perform this test, you're going to need two participants, and you're going to be needing to find a moving part of the creek that is safe for you both to be in. And you're going to need your meter um, net and probably a pair of rubber boots. So what are we going to do in order to get this sample here today? So we're going to put our net in typically a 45 degree angle into the creek. Okay. One person is going to be holding that net. The other person is going to kick up our rocks and our invertebrates are going to flow into this net. So I want to be creating a pattern about a meter by meter squared, and that allows us to accurately collect the sample for a volume. So I'm gonna start moving myself along. I'm twisting up these rocks. All right. Yeah, you can see all the dirt's flowing, or the sediment is getting kicked up. It's going right through the center of our net. Perfect exactly where we want it to go. And you kind of want to do this until you've collected a decent amount of sample. It's about 30 seconds of kicking up these rocks. What do you think? All right, let's take a quick look. Lots of things are moving in there. All right, that's looking nice. pretty good. Let's go to shore and see if we can figure out what's in here. All right, so now we need to get all of the invertebrates out of the net. So I'm gonna set that in there, get you to hold that for a second, yeah. Sid. I'm gonna grab a clean bucket of water. And we are going to try and rinse everything that we caught out of this net. Perfect. All right, so now let's take a quick look, make sure we got everything out of it. Looks pretty good to me. I'll take that from you. We're gonna set that down over here. All right, now what? We got this big bucket. It's pretty murky. We can't totally see our sample. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strainer. Okay. I'm gonna hold it over our, our clean bucket here. All right, now we're gonna get all the invertebrates out of this sample and we can get them all into a nice, collected sample here that's nice and accurate. Okay, there you go. And you can turn and dump that right back into there. Now we're always gonna take this bucket of water and pour back in the creek, just in case uh, there's any microorganisms in there that are a little too fine right. for us. Reed's now gonna get some fresh water. Yes, I'll grab us one more thing of fresh water. And we are and gonna we... rinse this, this strainer. Let's rinse the strainer out. That's good right there. Perfect. Now, let's find a nice level spot for this. Excellent. And let's give it a sec to see what invertebrates come out. Wow, it is really yeah. alive. Look at all the stuff see in there. See lots of stuff moving around. Wow. Now, let's try and get ourselves a proper sample here. So we've got our invertebrate isolation chambers right here, and we are going to try and use our negative pressure invertebrate extractors yes. to pull out anything that's moving in here and put it in these trays so we can ID them properly. Perfect. And we want to kind of pull everything out here. I'm gonna reach in and grab this guy. He's a little too big for our, our extractors. Look at that big leech right off the mm. hop. Ooh, isn't that a fun <laughs> one? I'm gonna put him into that tray right there. Okay, so let's let's collect everything here, Sid. So let's see, Let's as we find them, let's see. What do you got there? That looks this like- This is a mayfly. Yeah, there's a mayfly, excellent. Well, that looks like a water boatman. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we got a bristle worm right there. A little, there you go. All right. 
Yeah, so, there's just so much moving in here. Yeah, lots to find. Let's see what else? I saw some midge. Some, uh, oh, yeah. Lots of bristle worms. Yeah. Probably if we got rid of a lot of stuff, we'd see a lot of midges as well. Yeah, there's a few, few midge in there. That's good. There's another mayfly. Get them. Yeah. Excellent. Another bristle worm, lots of water boatmen. This is the bristle. And look at all the stone, or the, the yeah, mayflies. Yeah, tons. Mayflies, bristle worms. Here's another mayfly. Let's put them in there. there. Perfect. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We have an invertebrate identification sheet here, so we can kind of see they're broken into pollution tolerant, moderately pollution tolerant. And pollution sensitive uh, individuals here. Um, so how many of the uh, pollution tolerant ones do you find in here? So uh, we've got a leech, so that's one. We've got a bristle worm, that's two. That's the uh, uh, only two on our sheet actually right now. Yeah. And then do we have any of the moderately pollutant tolerant in our sample? No, you know, we don't, uh, I, I had seen an amphipod earlier, but I, I don't have it, uh, haven't been able to locate yeah. it in the sample. Um, but what about pollution sensitives? Do we have any of the mayflies and stoneflies? We can check that box off there. We've got um, a bunch of stones and again, different types of mayflies here. So because their presence is here, what, what can we kind of interpret from that? From that we can kind of say it's probably a pretty healthy ecosystem. Right. Um, again, as an indicator species, those are, the, those are the important ones. So it's actually really nice that we found some of those today. It's very nice, yeah. Because if it was too high in pollutants, they would not be present. Next step is to make sure we clean everything out really well. We don't want any of these poor little organisms to dry and get stuck inside the bin. So we're going to make sure we dump everything back into the creek and let them all go.